YouTube. So this is another in the uh, Ghetto Prepper series that I'm videoing. And um, what we're going to cover tonight is um, heat. Um, right now it's pushing uh, the high 50s in my house right now. So right now, right now, how many, how many times am I going to say it? Let's move on. Um, so now I have to make the decision of uh, how I'm going to heat. Now what I have is a, I have a, uh, a propane here, you know, like in the trailers and all that. But propane is $3.59 a gallon now. So in order to fill up a 29 gallon bottle like out back, it's almost $100. And that'll last me, if I'm real good at it, about three weeks. And, uh, you know, that's a big decision here when you're in the ghetto, or ghetto like me. I'm not in a ghetto. We're just a little piece of ghetto here in the hood. So anyway, um, the ghetto heat I'm going to show you is quite unique. So, let's move on. What we have here is an electric stove. And uh, what I do is I do use this for heat. And I'll show you how I do it. I take a small fan. Set it up here. Oh, shucks. And uh, this gives me some options. I can use the oven. Right. This cre creates or produces medium heat in case it's like in the day and it's a cold day. I can use the burners. This really works. Okay, this one burner. And I'll give you a panorama of the, of the house, or the rooms that I got going, will, will heat these two rooms. And we're talking about, see, I got a 14 by 70, so this is 14 foot by, I'd give it 20 feet. It's kitchen, living room kind of thing. This will heat, no matter how cold it is outside, it will heat this room and run you out of here. So what I do is, and I have to do this now because we're getting cold. Turn it on, set the fan in front of the burner, and I turn it on. Usually, it depends. I'll turn it on low when I'm up, this and that, and on high when I'm in my room back, way back there, which is another 10 feet, 12 feet that way. And uh, by God, it heats this room. It even heats better than the heater that I have that burns the propane. And it's far, far, far cheaper. So, that's one part of it. Now, I'll use this for when everyone's up, this and that. I'll use the oven because I can't run it that hot for when we're in bed, but I have to keep the temperature raised up in the room, you know, for the pipes, and I have a whole lot of house plants, that kind of thing. If, in the event, it gets really cold, I can use the second front burner right here. I'll turn it on. And I'll put the fan. <laughs> I'll put the fan between the burners, and it will actually pull the heat off the burners, and will heat this home comfortably. The only problem I have with that is the fact that uh, it won't heat the back rooms. So what I can do is, in conjunction with this oven and stove, I can use my propane heater to heat the back rooms. And the only time I need to heat those rooms is when the kids get up for school or that kind of thing, right? And uh, when I don't use that and do use this, it will actually keep the temperature up enough to where I don't freeze my kids half to death back in the back room. Um, if I really, really want to get it hot in here, like if I'm heating my room and the rooms, I'll turn both burners on about halfway. I won't have them red like this one is now. I'll turn them kind of halfway, and I'll turn the oven on also and open the door. Right, that will keep this house warm. It will actually do keep this house warm better than my propane heater. So, if that ain't ghetto enough for you, I don't know what is. You can only do this with an electric. Well, I've heated with gas, my gas stove way back when I had gas stove back in some other trailers I had, and uh, that's a little dangerous. You got carbon monoxide. 
and you got a fire hazard. This one I've used, I've done this for a few years now, because whenever we used propane and ran out and couldn't get to the store to get some, I just whipped this out. Also, if I really get put to it, in the back, in the back bathroom, that's where my washer and dryer is. I'll turn the dryer on, and it will heat that back room. You know, for an hour at a time you set it. By the time uh, I don't need that, you know, the kids are gone, they're in school and all that, I can shut that off, I can shut this off, and I'll go with a little space heater in my room. So, uh, in case I just cannot use the propane. I use that propane sparingly. I might run that heater an hour or two a day. And uh, otherwise, I'm just heating this, because this is where all the, you know, life goes on, that kind of thing. So all I need to do is heat this. So there it is. Oop. Ah! I'm just playing, it's not that hot, really. Um, there it is, ghetto heater in my ghetto prepper series. I guess it's not prepper, it's just ghetto. But, you know, whenever your preps fall through or the civilization falls through and you can't get anything, except electricity, then by God, I mean, it does the job. And it does the job right now. No question. It's like, even right now, it's cutting the, the chill down in this room in just the time me, well, I've sat here and made this video. Um, I don't worry about fire as much because if you keep your stove clean, this and that, you know, you don't worry. It's just a heating element. There's nothing, no fumes, uh, nothing uh, toxic or dangerous. And uh, my God, it works. I mean, it works right now. Because now, I'm, oh, it's nice right now. And uh, so, tell me what you think. And uh, there it is. Go ahead, rate me, comment, and uh, live by your wits, not by your words. All right, bye.